All right, folks. Hello. Well, welcome to the first ever loaded mic night here at the Crown Hall. So, thank you for, thank you, thank you, thank you for coming out. Thank you for trying something a little bit different. Uh, um, so the loaded mic started. It was something I started in. Um, you've probably heard me talk about it a million times, but Flin Flon, Manitoba. Woo woo. Uh, so, the basic idea is that you invite a bunch of different artists from different styles that maybe don't know each other or don't play together, throw them on a bill, they each bring a few friends, and instead of a bunch of local people playing for 10 people, we play for a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful packed audience, like you folks here. Yes, thank you, yes, you look great. Yes, um, and the idea is just to get people working together, get local musicians a little bit. You know, it's tough if you're, if you're playing original music or you're doing something new or you're creative or, or to do a, a full two hour show, that's a whole different kind of uh, world. And to do three songs, you can do them really well. You can bring some friends, you can have a good night. You don't have to work too hard. It's just a lot of fun. And that's the idea. It's just supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be a mixed bag. Different, and that's what you're gonna get tonight. You're gonna get a little bit of everything. Um, we'll take you all kinds of places and you'll see people playing together that maybe normally don't. You'll see some people you know, some people you don't. I'd like to welcome up to the stage uh, someone that was coming, yes, to the, to the coffee house. That's the first time I saw her. And uh, she came up and played some original music, which I'm always a sucker for. I said, holy hell, we gotta, I love original music. I love local original music. It's my favorite thing. It's kind of my secret passion. And as soon as I heard her songs and heard her play, I said, yep, this is, she's coming on the loaded mic. And then she was, said, I want to play first. And yep, even better. This is amazing, right? So, um, so please welcome to the stage, Leslie Sutherland. She's going to share some songs with you right now. Yes, absolutely. You get comfortable there. Hi. So I'm Leslie, and I'm a composer and a, comp a songwriter. Uh, thank you, Trevor, for inviting me to come. So this first song is called She's Got You Good. It's, uh, it's sort of a tribute to all the really, really strong women. I grew up with a lot of strong, fabulous, brilliant, difficult, complicated women. Uh, my sisters, my mom, my, my, my friends, and now my beautiful new friends here in Powell River. But really, this song is for the partners of these beautiful, brilliant, difficult women. And to remind you how damn lucky you are. <laughs> Don't accuse her of control 
She just agrees with herself more on a whole And you may try to run away Yes, you may try to run away But she's got you good She's got you good She will make you laugh She will make you cry She will Defend you till the bitter end, and she will take you to her soul, and she'll remind you when you forget your goals, and she will catch you when you fall, and she will make you stand up tall, cause she's got you good. Thank you. All right, so my, I'm only doing two. So the next one uh, is called It's a Long Way Down. And I think if you're living life right, you're going to be feeling a lot of pain. Um, and I've, uh, not all the time, I'm just saying sometimes, if you're really doing it, if you're really awake, you're going to be feeling some some heavy stuff. And so I have some very deep respect for anybody who lets them go down to the bottom of the well and gets back up again. So this is called It's a Long Way Down.
Yes, let's hear it again for Leslie Sutherland. Thank you for starting this off. Thank you so much, Leslie. Wow. Damn. That was a great way to start the night. First loading mic, first song. Thank you so much for doing that. Um, being honest, I'm a little biased. He's my favorite performer at every coffee house. Um, and even, even he always comes up and he's like, oh, I'm not a good singer. I'm, just, I'm doing good. And Lisa went to the last one. She's like, he's my favorite. Because um, what I love, and this is what's so special about Loaded Mics, is that there's just a little bit of everything. And Kevin is notorious for doing Roxy music covers on mandolin, right? And that's where I first met him. And I just said, holy hell, this guy's cool. So please welcome up to the stage. Uh, he's going to... Totally blow your mind. I love having him here, and I'm so glad he's doing it. Please welcome to the stage, Kevin Stanway. Yes. Hey, cheers. Thanks, Trevor. Thanks for putting this together. It's a lot of fun, isn't it? Um, yeah, what I'm truly notorious for is waking up in the morning and having my coffee, et cetera, and, <laughs> and thinking to myself, I wonder if anybody out there is covering such and such a thing on the mandolin. And then I look at the YouTube and... and in the past year, I discovered that I can't find anybody out there covering Roxy Music on the Mandolin. So I barraged the poor coffeehouse attendees with a, probably nine different songs over the course of the season. Um, and what I hardly ever do is write songs of my own. But today I'm going to play two of my most recent original songs. Yeah. One of them I wrote about eight years ago, the other about seven years ago. <laughs> It's real peak in productivity there. Uh, yeah, this one, uh, they're both blues songs, more or less. That sounds good, doesn't it? <laughs> Thank you. 
song in the style of <clears throat> Dr. John, and I didn't die. I don't know how it worked out. But this song, I just wanted to write a blues song. I just thought, I need to write a blues song. <laughs> and this is what I came up with. Hell of a story! <laughs> but, sorry, man. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not really a songwriter. Mostly, we, mostly I stick to the covers. I want.
Hey, we're gonna get um, we're gonna get even more help for the the last song. This is what a loaded mic is all so, about, folks. James on piano. <laughs> Ned on on percussion. Oh yeah, Ned. Yeah. 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 It's very cool because we said there'd be special guests, and we've got a few of our special guests already here, right? So. Here we go, you never know what's gonna happen. How have you been? What? How have you been? I didn't say the titles of the other songs because they were so obvious, you know. <laughs> Always turn it around and <laughs> Chiang Mai Blues. Uh, we are gonna do a Roxy music tune. Yeah. 1972, I believe. <laughs> Just like the tires my dad used to roll me down the hill in. Those were good years. <laughs> How are we set? We are not She's probably late, but you know and I know we all know. 
she'll have a really good Now I'm going to welcome up somebody to the stage that uh, I saw him play uh, at, a, at, the, at a coffee house. And he is just the sweetest person. You're talking to him and he's so happy. And then he comes up on stage and it's just like, just ice. It's just so good. He's just, it just brings it to a whole other level. And he just, he comes onto stage and he just brings it. And uh, as soon as I saw him, I said, yep, this guy's going to be on a load of mics. So without any more blabbing on my part, please welcome up to the stage, Alec Ross. Come on up, bud. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> How's it going? Uh, yeah, I'm Alec Ross. Um, yeah, I don't know why I'm so nervous. It's also super humid out today, so that's just, you know, and I have this, like, spray wax, but it's not good with sweat. I'm just like a waterfall on my forehead. I'm not enjoying it. But anyways, I'm going to do one uh, new one cover to start it out, get my voice kind of in range. Um, and then I'm going to do two originals, and yeah, we'll just take it from there. So okay, this one's called 68 Fastback. Take my heart, tear me apart. If I'm good for anything, it's all of this suffering to use me for parts. To you, I'm just salvage. I ain't ran right in years, so drive me and gut me, deceive and fuck me. Disappear and tell all my jokes, tell them to them, and act like you're someone who could be someone worth loving. Take all the good parts that you found in me. You'll sell them quick, you'll sell them cheap, give them for free. But I'm building back pistons, I'm running hard 91. I'm piecing myself back off the shelf, one by one. And I got a driver. Is the high road She don't use me for scraps To throw my ass back When I hit hard poles And I'm driving down freeways Going 117 And a 68 fastback Looks like a hatchback Racing me
Okay, thanks. Um, let's see some water. So this is a song for someone. I'm not gonna know who it is. They know who it is and they get embarrassed when I talk about it, so. <laughs> Breathless. And it's been a good year. Bring your dog, sit in my passenger seat, go for walks, I'll wipe the dirt off his feet. Scream my name, take space when you need to. Fight the good fight Things are a mess It's plain to see In plain sight You leave me breathless And if you run I can hold you walk If you yell at me I'll try to only talk Quietly And if you leave I'll leave open the door Never love anymore, anymore. You came home From the northern town You thought about the capital city, but you stuck around. And I was a mess. The definition of it. But as I recall, through summer and fall, displayed true grit. So if you run, I can hold you walk. If you yell at me, I will try. It's true. You turn all the gray skies blue. Maybe it's true that I've done this before. Never loved anyone anymore. Okay, I got one more. This one's nervous too. Um, I'm gonna try it. Like, I like it one day and then I just hate it the next day. And I think that goes for a lot of people that are like writing their own songs and like, I don't know, maybe it's like the moon or just like your mood or your brain chemistry. You're like, that's great one day and then you like your own worst critic. But uh, there's a person in the audience tonight. It's my dad. He is my role model. I love him to death. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> Heading down the lonesome road Say goodbye to what I thought I'd know Put the pages of the poet the authors of old told me when I was young you'd approve of anything I do. Only son, damn, do I ever look up to you? You always. 
questions I don't know all the answers to If I haven't said it lately I'm grateful for everything you do Something so romantic About working hard and sticking it out Gave us all better chances God damn Gordon Your name I'll scream and shout Getting older in life And your guidance I'm needing And I'm running out of time So I'm out here speeding On the highway Heading home to you doing my way and I always aim true let it burn let it burn and watch the embers turn let it burn let it burn and watch the embers turn I remember when I was younger You were working out of town I always looked forward To when you'd come around The man of my life Had troubles and strifes But he worked hard every day To allow his kids to play has a good family and a loving wife and I love you every day and I just gotta say I wanna spend some time telling stories I love yours you love mine so much of you is a glory Heading home to you. You told me I was doing my way. And I always aim true. If you ever, ever ask me, am I happy or sad? Well, that shit changes day to day. It's here to get for Alec Rocks, everyone. Hell yeah! So, blah, 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 this guy's the worst. Here we go, it's called Burn Something, or so-called James, whatever it says on that paper. Still go 
Thank you. Thank you. Is fittingly titled Turn the Lights. So here we go. minutes. <laughs> get some snacks, get some drinks. We'll see you back soon. So how are we doing so far, everybody? Yeah? Turn it on all right. And uh, from, from act one, we're going to bring up someone that the first time, uh, it's, it's a funny name. The first time I saw her at SIG was during Fart. Um, <laughs> fine arts reach for the top, not, yes. And uh, she was singing this beautiful Fiona Apple song, and I love Fiona Apple. We're not playing Fiona Apple today, but we will, sometime. And, uh, and uh, I just heard her singing, I said, oh, we gotta get some people playing with her. Because at, at, at Brooks, you, you get some options, but it's, it's not really where, where she could go, so. Uh, well, I'll just shut up and let's welcome to the stage, please, Elton Sutherland back up, please. All right, you 
should be on there. Okay. And this first song is uh, one you wrote. It is one that I wrote. <laughs> yeah. It's all about the um, sensations that I think a lot of creative people who feel very different and weird and uncomfortable a little bit all the time, they're <laughs> that sensation in the body um, and in the mind. It's about. Feel like a purple when my linen is ripped. I'm rich and so I pull myself adrift. Give me time to think and time to type and write. I'm a leaf to. the next song we're going to do? Sorry. Um, the next song is Fading to You by Mazzy Star, which is one of my favorites. Makes me feel all mysterious and stuff, so... Got it. 
just ain't gonna buy it. And if I jump on, I I jump right on a big bird, and then I fly. I've been a puppet, a popper, a pirate, a poet, a pawn, and a king. I've been up and down, and over and out. and Elton Southern. Holy hell. There's no words to describe. Um, it's going to be something completely different. <laughs> it's going to be beautiful. It's going to be thoughtful and uh, masterful. And uh, just every time I hear them play, I um, take it somewhere else and I feel like I'm a better person for it. And they always bring uh, just beautiful music and beautiful stories and I just I, I love everything they do and I can't wait so let's get them up here I just keep talking Walter Martella and Karina Inkster please come on up did you oh yeah folks we're delighted to present like actually but you know I've been part of so many things I was thinking well how are we gonna fit into this thing and so I was thinking uh, you know they're gonna send us up here and go okay folks this is what you don't play or those things there but these um, accordions, we're going to showcase some p a few pieces with the accordion. And um, although I play trumpet and piano and do a lot of different stuff, but the accordion I played um, since I was uh, seven, I think. And uh, when I had it up, it was kind of I was like this. And the orange one that I do love to play, I, I have this one here tonight, but I always say I cried all over that thing. <laughs> I puked a couple of times after crying on it, I'm pretty sure. I spent more time crying at the accordion. Uh, but we're, um, and uh, hopefully we transport you somewhere and then you'll enjoy the, uh, we have some Master Piazzolla pieces that we'll play for you. And
Thank you very much. We're very happy to be part of tonight. Thank you. Thank you so much for agreeing to do this. Karina Inkster and Walter Martella, thank you so much. The Accordion Fest, May 10th and May 11th. Get your tickets because they go fast. It sells out every year. So I hope you've really enjoyed the night. Um, we, we, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, great. Yeah, and so I think we're going to do it again sometime. Um, yeah, so when you see it, Loaded Mike, no, like get your tickets because this is... We barely advertised this, right? And it, it, it was, people were like fighting for tickets on the last day, but it worked out really well. So get your tickets, get them early, because I want to do these again. And it's just a, way, a, a great way to build a uh, community in um, musical community and connect people that maybe aren't, because there's a lot of talented people. And uh, it's nice to give people a chance to shine, right? Everybody can crush it for two or three songs and just be amazing with this beautiful, attentive audience, right? Who doesn't want to play for a crowd of people that just are, are hanging on every note and supporting you and friends, right? This is what local music's all about at its best to me. So Pat coming up next, because in my mind, he kind of is the heart of this, right? He was doing so many cool things when I moved here, and I, I was a big fan from, uh, from day one when I checked him out, right? If we have Mr. Coffeehouse killer, closer, Kevin here, right? We've got Mr. Cranhall himself coming up next. It's like, it's like a belts in wrestling or something. So please, uh, <laughs> please welcome to the stage. I'm sorry, I hope I didn't embarrass you. <laughs> Tyler Bartfay, please come on up. Yeah, he's done so much here. So yeah, you'll sing on the Sylvester Stallone movies where he goes, I don't do that anymore. <laughs> yeah. Neat. Hope everyone's having a, uh, a good day so far. It's been a nice night. gonna play a couple tunes. Right, we good? Man. Cool. Um, this is Walter's first time probably hearing this song. We kind of played half of it uh, in, in the warm-up there. It's actually about uh, how we both think we should pay more in property taxes. Uh, <laughs> no, um, this one uh, doesn't really have a full title yet. I wrote it uh, about a year ago just before I turned 30 and wasn't necessarily like having a great time. And uh, go something like this. I want to be 31 this year. All of these years. 
years Seem in such a hurry
like half standing on the front stage. It's like a power pose, but in weakness. Um, no, it's good. All right. Um, this one is, uh, I, I know Trevor said uh, he did some Googling. This one's on the internet. Um, I started to record kind of a full album, and then bought a house and subsequently ran out of money very quickly. Um, but we did get this one out. Uh, Walter plays keys on it, and um, Evan Eggett's played uh, some pedal steel. And it turned out uh, quite nice. And it's called uh, Dustpan. <clears throat> I like how uh, Trevor referred to me as a professional musician, and I have made at least one singular monies playing music. <laughs> And, and about maybe one-tenth of that from internet music. Never been much for nicotine, plastic girls in magazines, but I take what I could. Didn't get far, but I never stopped running Full-size American see where I was coming from I guess I don't know but the moon, when I am sleeping Lights the eyes of a crystal demon That always finds me then With a heart too strong to bend All the pieces So third generation who didn't get away Closing in on my third decade But I'm here The third time's a charm The water's from Italy The wine's from Rome It's flowing red like the blood in my bones For you It's always been for you The moon when I am Sleeping Lights the eyes Of a crystal team Always finds me then The heart too strong to bend And a dustpan for all the pieces ends. Said about standing strong, all we ever do is keep holding on. I guess I gotta get a grip. It takes more than courage to keep pushing through. It takes more than courage. Guess I need you, but 
Thank you very much. Cheers. We uh, we only talked about the two tunes, so I'll I'll do a quick solo one. But uh, and another round of applause for Walter. Uh, there's a uh, very few people who can just go. Oh yeah, I think I remember that from last year. Or what chords? Yeah, I'll just play that beautifully. Sure. So uh, big thanks to uh, to Walter. And let's uh, let's get a a, a warm uh, big round of applause for Trevor for putting this all together today. <laughs> that. Uh, yeah, that last one was dustpan. I should have made a, I, I had a segue I should have used because I, uh, I was doing yard work today because that's my life. Uh, but uh, I did a dump run just as kind of like that windstorm was coming and just got hit in like this like dust tornado and uh, still feel quite coffee from that, but uh, missed opportunity on the dustpan front. Like, damn. Um... Oh, maybe I'll do a I'll do an upbeat one. Those were both kind of sad. Why not? Uh, this is called "Is This My Home?" It's another one on the internet, and uh, hope you guys have a good evening. Sticks and stones. I don't fear broken bones, but I wanna know my home. Is it made from these rocks and trees to bear the weight, or do I have to wait to see if what you say holds it all together? Is this my home? Is this my home? Is this my home? Is this my home? Right. 
Constructing preconceptions of what life ought to be I'll just spend my days in the sun and brain Hoping it never changes And that this always is my home I know it now There is no doubt in my mind This place is my home And the place to grow and feel alive This is my home This is my home This is my Thank you so much. Let's hear it for Tyler Barfay. Yes. What a beautiful end to the evening. I want to thank all the artists, right? We got Leslie Sutherland, Kevin Stanway, yes. Walter Martella, Alec Ross, Tyler Barfay, Karina Inkster, Elton Sutherland, and special guests. We got Taylor Brown. We got James Leishman. And where is Ned? We've got Ned Kennedy here too, right? Special guest. Thank you to the Crown Hall for... Uh, making this happen. Thanks for taking a shot on that. Thank you to Lisa for doing the sound. That's been amazing. Thank you once again. Thanks for doing this. I love you all. Be safe. Love one another. And uh, we'll see you at Loaded Mike 2 sometime, all right? Keep your head up. Cheers. <laughs>